Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to find present value and future value on a financial calculator. Now, before we start, please subscribe to my channel as it is the best way to support me and my desire to bring high quality, easy to consume tutorials to you at no cost. So without further delay, please enjoy this video and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so in this first question, you're asked if the future value of an investment is $6,000 five years from now, what is the present value using a discount rate of 8% compounded monthly? So we're looking for the present value of $6,000. Now to do this on the financial calculator, we're going to set 6,000 as future value. And to do that, we're going to first write 6,000 into the calculator and then assign it to the future value key. So 6,000 FV. Always press the number first and then assign it to the variable you want to assign it to. Five years from now, at a discount rate of 8% compounded monthly. So we're going to set five as our N for five years. Now the calculator knows that it's doing this annually because I chose to go with years. The discount rate is 8%. So eight is the IY. So eight. IY, interest per year, but compounded monthly. So compounded monthly, to do that, you want to press second IY and then arrow down to CY, that is compounds per year. So we have compounds per year of 12. So we'll make that 12. So we write 12 and then hit to enter to save it. Now go back up to PY, make sure that's still one. Now we didn't want to change that. So make sure that this stays as one and your CY will stay as 12. In, in a later example, I'll show you when you would want to change both of them. Okay, so we've entered the interest rate per year, the compounds per year, the N, the FV. You can tell the calculator that there's no payment, although this step is not necessary. I like to do it. So zero PMT. And then to compute the present value, you just press compute present value. So compute present value. And you get 4,027.26. In the next question, you're asked to find the future value of $2,000 in six years using a discount rate of 10% compounded semi-annually. So this is very similar. In fact, it's basically the same thing. This time, the 2,000 is a present value and we're looking for a future value. So we're going to write 2000 as our PV, 6N, so six periods, six years. The discount rate, the interest rate per year is 10. And compounded semi-annually, so compounds per year is 2. We're going to set our payment to 0 once again, and this time compute the future value. So let's go ahead and do that, 2000 present value. 6n, 10iy, and then second iy. This time we want our compounds per year to be 2. And we'll get out of there. Zero payment, compute future value. 3,591 and 71 cents. Okay, in this example, we're going to introduce a payment as well. So it says, find the present value of a six-year annuity with monthly payments of $500 paid at the end of each month. The interest rate is 8% compounded weekly. So we are looking for a present value. And we have a $500 payment. So 500 is your PMT. Now, for N, N is not always years. So in this case, because the payments are monthly, you really want to make sure that your N follows that. I want to know how many payments there are in total. So if it's a six-year annuity paid monthly, that means our N would be six times 12. We would have 12 payments per year for six years. So N is 72. Our interest rate per year, our IY is uh, eight. Our compound, so compounded weekly, or CY is 52. But in this case, your PY, your payments per year, is 12. When you start to have payments in a question, PY starts to matter. PY stands for payments per year. So since we have monthly payments, the calculator needs to know that the payments per year is 12. 
Now, when you're looking for the present value of an annuity, you don't need the future value, so I like to make it zero. Again, this step is not necessary if you're always resetting your calculator, but I tend not to reset my calculator, so by doing this, I'm overriding anything that might have been there from the previous problem that I was solving. So 500 PMT, 72 N, 8 IY, then I'll go second IY, change my PY to 12, enter to save it, arrow down, change this to 52, enter to save it. And if I check, PY should be 12, CY should be 52. I get out of there, zero future value, compute present value. And you'd get a present value of 28,500 and some change. In this next question, we've asked you to find the present value of an annuity again, eight years, paid annually this time, at the beginning of each year. The interest rate is 10% compounded biweekly. Okay, so let's break this question down. It's an eight-year annuity with annual payments. So N is eight, and PY, payments per year, is one. That's because we've got annual payments. It's $1,000, so that's your PMT, and it's paid at the beginning of each year. Now, when you see this, you're dealing with what's called an annuity due, and you actually have to tell the calculator that. If you don't tell the calculator that it's paid at the beginning, the calculator always assumes the payments are made at the end. So we need to turn on BGN. To turn on BGN, press second, then BGN. BGN is found on top of the PMT button, and then second again, and set, which is found on top of the enter button. So you're basically pressing second payment, second enter. And if I do that, second payment, second enter, you can see that BGN is on the screen. And even if I clear at the top, BGN will stay on the screen as long as it's toggled on. So keep an eye on that. If BGN is there, the calculator will solve your problem as a beginning of the period payment. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on. I've got my N, I've got my PY. My compounds are bi-weekly. So that is every two weeks. So 26 periods per year. The interest rate is 10%. And we're computing the present value. Oh, and you can set your future value to zero as well. Okay, so let's go 8N, 1,000 PMT, 10 IY. Then I'll go second IY, switch my PY to 1, enter to save it, down, switch this to 26, enter to save it. I'll get out of there, zero future value, compute. Present value, 5,789 and 94 cents. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it to be useful. I hope that you were able to follow along with your own calculator. Once again, if you have questions, please leave a comment and I will respond to them.